Let's do one more thing for our site, at least in this chapter. Go into Pages and open up Contact. Contact pages in a lot of sites typically are very sparse. Even in huge sites, you might see a couple of phone numbers, and that's about it. A lot of sites don't want to give you the ability to email them because that's so easy, and then they got to get through the emails. But let's do this. Let's put an image up here. Double click. That's just an easier way to get there, I want to tell you. And let's do a lily up there, I suppose. Got that done. We know our links work. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of this text. Remember, this was just a template page, except the word instructions. And let's call that Contact Us. Now, we'll do a couple of things real quick. Go ahead and go down to the next line, type in, and this is, of course, the U.S. way of doing phone numbers. Let's give them our home phone number. That'll work. Home, business, cell, man, just about everything. Let's do one more thing, though, an email link. Enter key. Now we're going to select this text. Just like that. Got it selected. Down here, our link. Now, this is how this works. Type in the word M-A-I-L-T-O, mail2, with a colon. Then type in the email address, just like that one up there. Could be different if you want, but that wouldn't make sense. That's it. You've just created an email link. Now, if we run this, what happens is, is when they click that, it would actually open up their email server, automatically put the information in there, and allow them to send you an email. But that's not all. Check this out. Come over into our link right here and type a question mark, and then the word subject equal. Now, what would you like the subject line to be? Like, maybe this is a request for information, and you'd like to see that in the title. We'll type in information request. So, subject equal information request. That's a question mark at the front, though. Subject equal information request. Let's check it out. Save it. Come up here, and I'm going to Safari. I think I'll send an email request. And there it is, already up there. Now you could do the same thing with the word body. Question mark body equal, and you could put in here something like, please type in your request here. Now usually what I do here, let me get out of here. Let's get out of here. And I might do something like this. Please leave the subject line intact. Now what I'm doing is this. I have rules in my mail server that if it sees a particular thing going on with the subject, it moves that particular email into another folder. It helps me organize my stuff, if you will. So if you want an email, it's very easy. Don't forget the mail to at the beginning. You want to add a subject or a body, begin the word subject or body with a question mark equal, and you've got it. On to the next.